dry eye is a common condition in dogs. Certain breeds, such as Shih Tzu, Cocker, Cavalier King Shaw, or Molossoids, are predisposed to this condition. It is a defect in the production of lacrimal glands, which produce the aqueous phase of tears. Clinical signs, such as recurrent conjunctivitis, mucopurulent ocular discharge, eye pain, should lead you to consult your veterinarian as soon as possible. Do not use eye drops without medical advice, as they could aggravate an existing pathology. Your veterinarian will confirm the diagnosis of dry eye following an examination that measures the secretion of tears. This is the Schirmer tear test. Most often, both eyes are affected, but not necessarily at the same stage. A dog suffering from dry eye requires long-term daily care. The eyes and eyelids must be cleaned very regularly, sometimes even several times a day if there are significant amounts of secretion. Eye drops, gels, and ointments prescribed by your veterinarian will be more effective on a clean eye. If your pet has long hair, do not hesitate to cut the hair around the eyes or have a groomer cut it to prevent hairs from sticking together and create additional irritation. Treatment addresses both the consequences of dryness to the use of lubrificant and the cause of the dryness to the use of eye ointments that stimulate the production of tears. Lubrificants come in the form of eye drops or gels. These treatments should be administered frequently at the start of treatment, while keeping in mind that different products should not be installed in the eye at the same time. There should always be a period of at least 15 minutes between administration of each product and delivery should follow a logical order. Begin by installing the mostly products, for example eye drops, before applying the denser products such as ointments. Following a checkup, your veterinarian may modify the prescription to reduce the frequency of administration should your dog respond well to the treatment. However, treatment must be administered throughout the life of the animal. A regular checkup with your practitioner is recommended to monitor the tear rate and adjust the treatment accordingly.